Okay, we are going to discuss how to change a failed actuator in the VS249 or 11 uh, step that's failed in the stored position. Firstly, we want to shut off the power that goes to it and disconnect the electric going to the step and the actuator that would be micro switches and uh, the actuator itself and it's best to be removed from the truck and worked on on the bench. Once you have it on the workbench uh, we're going to firstly remove the step casting from its mounts by removing the four clevis pins items 24 and 30 that hold the step casting to the arms. Okay, now we're going to remove the three bolts that attach this piece, 13B, to this and this, number 4 and 13A. And we're also going to remove the screws that hold the kick panel to the torque arm. That's number 3. Okay, now we are going to have to heat this item. This is item 14 and the nut is item 36. They've been uh, put on with thread locker. So you got to heat that for about five seconds to break the thread locker free. Then you'll hold the nut and turn this item free. You hold these shoulder bolt with an Allen wrench and remove the nut. And 
the washer. Now this bolt is loosened. Okay, now we want to carefully remove this bolt. You've got a four four piece linkage plus the actuator that it's through. So you want to carefully remove that bolt. It may be under a little more tension. Sometimes you may have to turn it to get it out. You may need a little pin to knock it out. You'll have to back it up. If you lift these arms, it'll take some of the tension off of it. Now, caution is, now this is free to move around, so just be careful with your fingers and things like that, that you don't get pinched. Just flip that out of the way. These can just be laid like that, and we're ready for the next step. Okay, finally, the cotter pin and the clevis pin holding the rear of the actuator can be removed. You can support the actuator, take some of the weight off of it. The clevis pin comes out. There's two spacers. There's a the narrow one, and then there's a longer one. The longer one goes on this side. And uh, once that's out, then this, this support plate can be removed, and the actuator is free to come out of the step. Okay, before we put our new actuator back in, it's basically reversing what you just did. Uh, I would take the time to clean and lubricate any uh, rotating points, wipe it off, uh, clean it down with something, uh, put a little maybe spray grease in there that'll penetrate in and help to lubricate it. This is the ideal time to do that. And uh, then you'll be ready to put it back together. Like I said, just reverse what we just did. Lay your actuator in, put this in, and, and uh, so on down the line. Now, the one thing, when you are reassembling this and you're putting this back in, if for some reason things don't line up, you can turn this in half turn increments and it'll go in and out to get the pins to line up in the right position because now this is free so uh, that'll help you because if it's, if it's all the way if it's cranked all the way in you may have a hard time getting things to reach so usually I would like to turn it out about one one and a half turns and then adjust it from there, it, it'll make your assembly go much easier.